All right, class, uh, welcome. Drawing a four today. See that? Three dimensional. I'm actually going to be creating the wireframe that looks like this one here. So I'll go over that with you. A few things. Got to talk about how to set up. We're still going to be in AutoCAD. One thing that we need, though, is we need to have our 3D tools, which we don't have right now. So first thing we're going to do is go up here next to the ribbons, uh, up in the toolbar, you know, the toolbar area. I right click, go to Show Tabs. We want to make sure the 3D tools are available. We are going to need those as we do this. Right now, we're also going to change our view. So we're going to put this into a 3D view. So we're going to click the View ribbon. Go here to Views. I'm going to click this bottom button. It'll open up the menu. We're going to choose SW Isometric. All right. Now we are in 3D. The other thing we need to do is we want to go up here to the View. We're drawing in 3D wireframes. So we want to go down here and go to Wireframe. See how our user coordinates change now? We've got an X, Y, and a Z. Uh, it's important to pay attention to that. Um, there's gonna be one point in this drawing where you have to make sure that the X and Y are in the proper direction <clears throat> so that you can draw what you want. Um, so this drawing here with the instructions on top provides us with all the dimensions. This one right here is what yours is gonna look like when you turn it in. So just for reference, please use the drawing with the dimensions, okay? It's actually quite easy. We're gonna draw, draw one of these shapes, copy it up. We're gonna do a lot of copying here and not much drawing. So um, this drawing actually goes pretty fast. Um, there's gonna be a few little issues you guys are gonna have some, some, uh, some problems with, um, but I'm gonna try and explain those and demonstrate them in the video. So first thing, we can go back to our home screen and we can select our line. And so we're just gonna start drawing the flat part that makes up the top of this clevis. So our first line we're gonna draw, it's gonna be three and a half inches long, 3.5. We're gonna draw our next line at three, 3.5 again, 0.75, um, 1.5. 1.5, um, 1.5, oh, we'll just go ahead and connect those back up. Okay, so this kind of part here is the base or the top of the part we're drawing. So we're gonna hit enter one more time to select a line. And what we'll do is we'll just select a line here and we're gonna go straight up. So if you look on here, it will list um, what direction you're kind of going in here. And this shows that we're going in the Z direction, okay? Um, positive in the Z, so we're going straight up. We go two, we hit enter one more time. And we're gonna come up here and use the copy function. Um, click copy. First of all, you select what you want to copy. So we're going to select these initial lines that we drew. And hit enter. You want to specify your point of displacement. So we're going to select this corner. Let's come up here to the top of the line. Hit enter again. Uh, or click the mouse and then hit enter and it'll, it'll end the copy function. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've got to put in a few more lines. So we're going to select our line function here. We're gonna create these corners here. Hit enter. Okay, so you'll notice while I was drawing this, this line here, I, uh, I stated I drew that line three and a half inches long, but if you look at the drawing, the overall is four. That's because we've got this little taper on the front. So what I'm gonna do when I create this little taper I'm going to take my line function, I'm just going to come out in 0.5, go straight up 0.5, and then 1, 0.5. I'm going to go back here and close it off, okay? I'm going to zoom in here so we can see this a little better. I'm going to go ahead and select these lines here. 
I'm just going to delete these little layout lines I made. Take my line tool again. Draw the one line. Draw the next line. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to 3D tools. Or view, I mean. If we take this orbit tool, click on this orbit tool. Now I can kind of spin this so we can kind of see what we got here. So these are the lines that I just drew. Okay. Now when we're in the full southwest isometric, we kind of lose one of those lines. So I'm going to kind of twist it here so we don't, we don't lose our three lines. Go back to home. I'm going to make a copy because I need this line here in three different places. So I'm going to select these three lines that I drew. I'm going to hit enter and use this as my point. I can just click everywhere I want one copied. Hit enter one more time. Okay, I'm going to draw just a couple more lines and we'll, then we'll about be done. Okay, so now we've got the basics already done. So now we've also got to lay out where the where the holes are going to go. So I'm going to I'm going to select line here. I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to do a midpoint on this line. So I'm going to type mid. Okay. All right. So see this line is the circle is one inch up from the bottom and one inch back. So being at the midpoint of that nose will give me the right location. Hit enter. Okay, now the other thing I'm going to do from this line is we're going to copy them again. And so to copy them, you know, because as, as it shows on the wireframe drawing here, we need the circle in four places. So we're going to draw some line segments here. So we can go 0.75, enter. 1.5 enter 0.75 enter and then we'll hit enter one last time okay now we're going to draw our circle okay we've got a little problem here you can see our circle is being drawn on the wrong plane so what we have to do i'm going to hit escape we go to the 3d tools and i'm going to come up here to three point which is uh gives you the ability to move the user coordinate system which is this little guy right here in the corner i'm going to hit three point Okay, I'm just gonna come here to this corner and drag that out. X is gonna be straight out that way. And we'll drag up this corner for Y. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the home screen. I'm gonna select my circle. And there we go. Okay, these circles have a diameter of one inch. I'm gonna hit D, enter. F1, enter. Now I have that circle drawn. Now all we have to do is take and copy it. I'm going to select copy, select that, select the center, and I can just drag along this line that I created earlier to the end points of the line. You can see when it snaps to the end point, you get that, uh, that dark square around the end of the line. And then now I'm done with that, I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to take and I'm just going to del quickly delete these lines that I created in there to lay this out. Hit delete. Okay. So now we'll go back to view and we'll orbit this so you guys can see what I did here. If we look at the top view, you don't even see that those are in there really. Got those circles in place. Okay. And actually we're going to go from this view right here because our next, well about this view, uh, go ahead and try this one right here because our next circle has to be on this face here and then on the back. And so what we'll do is I'm just going to take a line Easy way to center it, guys. I could do some measuring, but if I just go corner to corner with a line, then we're able to do that. Um, I'll probably orbit this just to make sure they're in the right place. And yes, they're right where I want them. Okay. And then we'll take and we'll draw one more line. Go from the center here. Okay, I'm gonna actually orbit this again because that is gonna be hard for you guys to see because it's wanting to snap the line up also. So we're gonna take here, I'm gonna go where that intersection is, that heavy, heavy X there, this is the intersection. We know that it's 
two inches back to the back of the of the part there to enter. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter one more time. The selector circle. Now actually let me let me orbit my view just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Selector circle. And again, we have the same problem. So what we're gonna do is go back to 3D tools, gonna to select three point, come right down here to the corner, X out this way, Y out that way. And then now we'll go back to the circle. Now we can draw our circle. Okay, D enter, one enter, okay. Do our copy function one more time, select our circle here to the center, straight back till it hits the end point. And we'll hit enter, okay. Now I'm gonna take and delete those layout lines I did to delete. I'm gonna come back over here to view and I'm gonna click Southwest isometric again, bring that right into view. And then um, I'm gonna go to 3D tools, hit world coordinates. It puts the coordinates back correct to the way they were when we originally drew it. Um, so there's your 3D wireframe drawing. Um, you know, take your time as you guys are laying out and make sure that your lines are snapping in the right direction. Um, remember it helps come to view, use the orbit tool to rotate this thing around and see that things are where they should be. Um, you know, um, the other thing you can do if you really want the two dimensional views, you can go to top, bottom, left, right, front, back, you know, so you can move around in the views. Um, that's the completed view that I want everything to show up in. Uh, you know, and then we'll have our coordinates in the world coordinates. Okay, uh, submit the drawing we have before. Uh, make sure, you, you know, drawing for your names on there. Um, and, uh, Good luck on this one. Um, and next week we'll be doing a little bit of solid. So, um, yeah, enjoy. Thanks.